Hello, I'm Jason Rohde. I wanted to provide you a brief tour of my Blackboard Exemplary course, ETR 520, Introduction to Educational Research. This is a course that I designed and taught at Northern Illinois University. Here you can see I am logged into my course in preview mode. Um, this is a course that was designed and built in Blackboard Ultra Course View. And I designed the course to leverage the affordances of Ultra in the course experienced and used features like a course banner um, the, uh, to, to give a little bit of personality to my course. Um, and then in terms of the, the course structure, I'm just going to highlight just a, a handful of quick items um, that I think are, are worth uh, noting. Uh, the first is a welcome start here module. This is what I chose to use to provide that kind of entry point for my students. Um, so formatting this within a module, I have um, some different um, uh, information items here for my students. Um, a, a let's get started page. So I'm using a document within Ultra that has preliminary information about our course, um, the description, how to get started, the course outcomes and such. Um, my, there's a course tour here for my students. Um, the syllabus and course information is all provided in a, a single uh, location where students can download and access um, that, that, that information. Um, this course, I happen to use a course podcast. I created a podcast that accompanied my course. I have information here for my students how to access that. Um, also, I did use for this course um, I adopted an open textbook, and so I have information here on where my students can access that textbook um, free of charge. And so syllabus and course information has all of that information here. Um, then I also had um, a folder for course policies. I, I kept those all collected together for my students. I mentioned the course textbook is an open textbook, and so here I not only had a link where the students could access information about the textbook, they could get to it directly here, but I also have the downloadable versions of the textbook in uh, EPUB, PDF. There's even a link where students can buy a copy of the textbook if they uh, so choose. I mentioned the course podcast that I did create for this course. Um, there's a link here with uh, details for my students. They can access it and then they can get to the um, links which provide direct access. So for example, um, the Anchor FM link uh, provides uh, the podcast all of the episodes are here. The students can access them individually um, and they can subscribe in their podcasting app of choice. Um, so, so that's this welcome start here module. And that's all information is all available for the students. They can access it any time. I also have, for example, a Your Instructor page uh, where I have information about myself for my students. Again, my contact information is easy for them to find. I have an instructor welcome video that I embed there. Um, they can hear from me um, and even some information and a, a photo of my family. So just a little bit to help them get to know a little bit more about me. I also utilize um, our campus has a Kaltura um, platform is what we use to host our videos. And so using the Kaltura um, media gallery feature, I created a course media gallery where this was really helpful for my students is they could access all of the course videos in one location. Uh, whereas rather than having to, to drill into a certain module folder to find a particular video, they can either search, um, they can filter by different tags, um, and they can access that, that content very easily. The other thing I did is the culminating project in this course was a research proposal. And so I have a folder where I provide them not only the uh, a template and rubric, uh, but I have some sample uh, research proposals that the students can access. Um, and so they can, within this folder, they can, they can access some, some samples from, uh, from students in previous sections that have been uh, given their permission to share. Um, then finally, my module structure. Here you can see I, I list my modules in reverse chronological order, and I make them available. I move the newest to the top to reduce scrolling for my students. Here you can see within a, a sample module or unit, being unit 15, I'm using the module um, item within Blackboard Ultra Course View. And I have, I include a welcome video. I have a, an overview and objectives document that really lays out um, for the student, provides the, that level of detail, a, an overview of the unit that we'll be covering and a listing of the objectives are, are shown there. Um, and then there's two folders, one for readings and media resources. This unit ha didn't happen to have any because it was the, the last unit of the course. But then the activities and assignments, anything that the students are submitting, completing that week, um, they access all of those 
um, activities within that folder. So I tried to keep a, a very simple uh, streamlined structure for my students. Um, so with that, that's a quick tour of my course ETR 520. Uh, if you have more questions or you'd like to follow up, uh, my email address is here on the screen. Feel free to follow up. I'm happy to, to chat further. And uh, thanks for watching.